Olympia lives in Sutrio, close to the Austrian border. She has a large vegetable garden from which she gathers herbs for her Cajon's ravioli. Her mixture includes parsley, mint, basil, sage, wild fennel and lemon balm. Io mi chiamo Olimpia e preparo i chiachons. She picks through the herbs, removing any tough stalks. Poi prendo, preparo la macchina per poter macinare i biscotti. Allora io prendo tre qualità di biscotti. Two types of Olympia's biscuits or cookies are plain. Another is apple flavoured and she also adds some almond flavoured amaretti. She blitzes them all into fine crumbs. Olympia likes to make about a thousand carjons at a time for family and friends, so normal mixing bowls aren't big enough. These are chives, which she likes to add separately to the other herbs. She chops these in her food processor and stirs them into the biscuits. Adesso noi mettiamo la ricotta affumicata e la ricotta fresca. Olympia grates some smoked ricotta and adds this along with some normal ricotta. Tutti non fanno così, sì. This is half a bar of plain chocolate with hazelnut. Olympia adds this along with plenty of cinnamon. This mixture of savoury and sweet flavours is characteristic of the Carnia area and every village has its own recipe. Olympia grates the zest of a lemon and juices it. She stirs this in, making sure to remove any stray pips. Atti Mauro fa. Poi sono venuta giù qui, loro non facevano indifferente. Un po' o di Mau, un po' sutrio e un po' sopra. She has already boiled a kilo of whole potatoes. She removes the skin and rices them into the mixture. sprinkles in some salt. Olympia then adds three jars of jam, which are pear, fig and apricot. And a splash of rum. She 
squishes everything together and then tastes it for the balance of flavours. It should be a little bit sweet. Vi piace più dolce? Un po' di zucchero? Yeah. Per me sufficiente, ma mm, maybe it's a, a matter of taste. Forse mm, un, po', un po' di più. Lo dica lei. Così sì. un pochino, un po così. pochino. Sì. Un pochino tanto. Quando si faceva di solito durante le feste? A Natale, a Pasqua. And there is one more ingredient to be added. Olympia takes her large sauté pan and warms a mixture of clarified butter called ont locally and oil. She grates half an onion and softens it before pouring in some coarsely ground maize. She adds the sweet herby biscuit paste to the pan and mixes everything together. Invece qui è sottile prendono tutte quelle erbe che lei ha visto e lo fanno fare nel burro, lo rosolano. Invece io rosolo tutto, non solo le erbe. This has to cool before being made into carjons. Ecco. Allora, noi quando abbiamo finito di fare, lo lasciamo anche un po' raffreddare, lo facciamo dopo pranzo, ma voi altri lo volete vedere adesso un po' così. To make the pasta dough, Olympia heats a combination of oil and water with a little salt. She pours this all at once into zero zero flour and then carefully mixes it together without scalding her hands. Come riesce a impastarla? <laughs> this makes a very soft dough. We only need to film a plateful, so Olympia rolls out a little pasta and uses a glass to make seven centimetre rounds. She makes them larger by rolling them some more. Then she dots knobs of the filling into the centre of each circle. Olympia makes a half moon with the pasta and presses the edges together. Then she crimps the pasta to give it a frill. Livia has a go. Olympia simmers some carjons in boiling salted water. While they cook, she grates some smoked ricotta onto a plate. She places the carjons on top and then she grates some more ricotta over them. Adesso noi buttiamo giù. Lastly, she pours over plenty of melted ont. Allora, adesso i tiarchon sono pronti e voi altri dovete assaggiarli. E mi dite quello che c'è e quello che non c'è. These are very Moorish and it's Luis's turn to taste the carjons. Thank you very much. Sono cotti. 
li assaggiati come sono non li ho ancora assaggiati very very good grazie mille Olimpia <ride>